Hey, what's up guys? This is Rob from Treehouse Recovery. Thanks for tuning in. You guys are about to watch a video on benzos, benzo addiction, and how to successfully get off benzos. Um, I just want to remind you that I am not a doctor. If you choose to get off benzos, please enter a medical facility and taper off under the supervision of a doctor. This video is more directed towards the addiction treatment. I need to warn you in this video, I do have a beard for No Shave November. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoy the video. Hey everybody, this is Rob Moe with Treehouse Recovery and today I'm here to speak to you about benzodiazepines, also known as benzos. And this is a really important video because benzos, which are often prescribed, are also highly addictive, incredibly dangerous, and can even be deadly. So in this video, I'm going to hit some major topics that include what benzos do, uh, some commonly prescribed benzos, and also the safest way to detox and treat benzo abuse. So please watch this video beginning to end. It's important information for anybody who is suffering from benzo addiction or if you have a loved one who is abusing benzos. Let's start off with how benzodiazepines work. Benzos work on the brain by releasing GABA. Now GABA acts as a sedative and will create a sense of calm. Also when somebody ingests benzos, there's gonna be a release of dopamine, which creates pleasure or euphoria. Now, usually benzos are gonna be prescribed for somebody who suffers from anxiety, panic disorder, or some kind of sleep issue. But there might be a few issues with treating these symptoms with medication. For example, you might have recently experienced a major event which is producing some uncontrollable emotions. This doesn't necessarily mean that you have major panic disorder. Or you might have recently experienced some sleepless nights. This doesn't necessarily mean that you suffer from insomnia. Or maybe you're having a rough day. Maybe you're having a rough couple of days. Maybe you're stressed out about bills, relationships, work, whatever it is, it's creating a sense of anxiousness. This does not necessarily mean that somebody has general anxiety disorder. If you completely turn off your anxiety, you remove a safety mechanism telling you the consequences of your actions. This could lead to a relapse. Even if somebody does suffer from one of these disorders and has been correctly diagnosed, using benzos to treat those symptoms might just be a temporary fix. Unfortunately, sometimes these benzos are prescribed to people who don't necessarily need them. For example, if somebody's in early recovery and suffering from pause, they might be experiencing depression, anxiety, insomnia, and to treat those symptoms with benzos would be doing that person a disservice. And if somebody is predisposed to the disease, this can create physical and mental dependence, the two components that make up addiction. Now that I've given you a brief description of what benzos do, I'm now gonna go through a list of commonly prescribed benzos. At the top of the list, the most abused benzo is Xanax. Some street terms for Xanax are footballs, ladders, Xannies, bars. Some other abused benzos are Klonopin, Ativan, and Valium. Again, if you're worried about a loved one abusing benzos, here's a list of common symptoms that somebody would portray if they are abusing them. Impaired judgment, slurred speech, vertigo, poor reflexes, depression, and a number of other behavioral, emotional, and physical changes. If you or a loved one is abusing benzos and decides to stop, don't do it cold turkey. It can be challenging without the support of uh, some kind of medical facility. And when that happens, it can lead to relapse. It's really important to do it under the supervision of a detox or some kind of medical facility where you can taper off the substance. This can prevent seizures and possible death. When coming off benzos and entering a detox, you might experience the following withdrawal symptoms, anxiety, panic attacks, rapid heart rate, muscle spasms, body tremors, hallucinations, and depression. After the physical detox, somebody will need to enter a treatment facility or some recovery program to stabilize and put the disease into remission. There needs to be a holistic approach to these interventions. This can consist of clinical pieces, physical pieces, um, counseling, writing therapy, process groups, uh, physical interventions can consist of yoga to help regulate, stay in the moment, especially during the onset of a panic attack, intense physical activity to get brain functioning normalized, um, and of course, just a, a, a solid peer group to help encourage and reinforce your own sobriety. 
I hope that you guys found this video educational and informative. Um, benzo use is no joke. Um, there's people out there that are affected. There's people out there that are dying. Um, we're here to help. So if you are suffering from benzo addiction or any kind of addiction, or if you have a loved one who suffers from the disease of addiction, please give us a call. We're here to help. Uh, we offer a variety of interventions that will help somebody stabilize and get them on a path of healing. If you like this video, please check out the other videos. Subscribe to the Treehouse channel. Happy No Shave November, everybody. And this is Rob Moe. I'll see you guys next time.